One month ago tonight, we were reporting on pothole tire blowouts on 264 eastbound. And since then, many of our findings reported in our investigation have turned up in a preliminary report on that pothole disaster released today by VDOT. Then on your side's Andy Fox read it and joins us with what he's found. Andy? Yeah, here's the report right here. And what we've reported, it appears TME did as little as possible with pothole repairs, and VDOT did as little as possible to tell TME to get the job done right. The nine-page preliminary summary is mostly critical of TME. Major findings, TME failed to permanently patch potholes. TME should pay VDOT $200,000 for VDOT's cost of emergency pothole repairs. TME should be more proactive. VDOT should simplify and expedite pothole repair procedures. Most alarming, before this review, permanent patching of potholes was typically not done. Not done by TME for five years and no oversight by VDOT for five years. Commonwealth Transportation Board member Aubrey Lane. When a temporary repair was made that we should have come back when weather uh, allowed to put in the permanent fix, obviously that didn't occur and obviously VDOT didn't make sure that it occurred. That failure led to the pothole disaster one month ago today. Also noted, VDOT records indicate that many potholes February 8th and 9th not marked complete as of February 14th. So unimpressive, says Aubrey Lane. If you expect a lot somebody, you better inspect a lot. And I don't think that was going on uh, from VDOT. Uh, and we accepted um, the, this performance that was obviously substandard. How substandard? Look at this. The opportunity to prevent deterioration through preventive maintenance would have been much more effective four to five years ago. But that's when TME went under contract. So the report leads one to believe the 264 deterioration happened on TME's watch and under VDOT's nose. Does Lane support dropping TME from the contract that begins in May? At this point in time, based on these recommendations, it's going to be hard for me as a CTB member without input from the commissioner and his recommendation um, to go forward in the manner which we've gone forward in the last few years. Now, I took this preliminary report on the pothole issue to the offices of TME. If you read it, it looks like there's a lot of buck passing going from VDOT to TME. To get reaction, I want to see what they think about it. They weren't expecting me. Find out what happened when 10 on your side showed up. I also asked VDOT Commissioner Greg Worley how many of the 200 pothole victims of one month ago have been reimbursed as promised by VDOT. That part of the story tonight at 6. And Andy in Fox, between, on your side. excuse me, Annie, I'm sorry. In between tonight at 530, Governor Bob McDonald's weighing in on the 264 pothole disaster. After VDOT released that report, he sent out word on how his new transportation plan will fix what's wrong with what many call 264's pothole alley.